Hey there, modelers! Welcome to another build in the Scale Auto Garage. Today we will be working on a 60-year-old kit. This is the Ford Prototype J-Car by IMC. It is an advanced model released in 1966 or 1967. All the original parts have already been removed from the tree, so we can easily begin. We will work on the lower half of the car first. Engine and chassis parts need to be painted and then we will paint the lower half of the car. Semi-gloss black is used on the bottom and then for the sides we will use some white primer and then some flat white. After we do some masking, we will paint a dark blue for those iconic Ford stripes. Once all the paint is dry, we can begin with the intricate assembly. First, we need to put the fuel tanks in place and then we can start on the rear suspension. After the engine is installed, we can place drive shafts, rear hubs and more of the suspension parts. The engine needs its exhaust and it seems that this kit came with two styles. I prefer the look of the traditional exhaust with the dual pipes down the middle, so I went with that one. Once the firewall is in place, we can install the last suspension part, the radius rod. After the suspension is all complete, we can put in some of the additional parts like the fuel pumps, oil coolers and other miscellaneous pieces. Now we turn our attention to the front suspension. The front has a strong frame piece that fits on top of the floor pan. Suspension components are then attached to the frame. The tires needed a little bit of hot air to make them more pliable. Then we can push the rims into the tires so they can easily be installed. After attaching the rims to the hubs, the chassis is complete.
Let's begin the cockpit section of the car. We start with some paint on the roof and the doors. White primer is used first. Interior parts are painted in various black colors using semi-gloss and flat to give the feeling of texture. The inside of the roof is painted with a flat black and then the pieces will be covered with a flat white. Canopy glue is used to help hold the front windshield in place and then UV resin is used to really lock everything in place. The same resin is used on the rear glass as well. The doors are assembled with the glass and the inner door frame. The roof is securely attached to the assembled dashboard and then the doors are put onto this assembly. The entire assembly is then placed carefully onto the chassis and glued into place. Voila, cockpit is done. For the front of the car, we use some white filler putty to clean up the gaps between parts. We will open this small vent on the fender to add a little bit of detail to the look of the car. The front is then painted using white primer and flat white. The top of the front is taped off and then a dark blue is painted. After all the paint, a semi-gloss is used to seal it all up. Now let's make the grill for that front vent. Using some tape, we make a template. Cut around the template on some grill material. Using a UV resin again, we can keep that mesh in place and then remove the template. Install the headlight buckets and then using some canopy glue, place the headlight covers on top. Install the front clip onto the hinges
And there you have it, front of the car is done. The rear of the car is done the same as all the other parts. First, we will use some of the white putty to fill the gaps between parts. I didn't really like the side openings, so I decided to fill them in as well. When the putty is dry, sand it all down nice and smooth. Painting is done like the other parts. White primer is used first and then the inside is painted with a flat black. A flat white is used on the outside and then a semi-gloss is used to seal it all up. The decal sheet did have some lettering, so after giving the decal sheet a coat of clear, I was able to cut them out and use them on the back of the car. Rear lights are installed using more of the canopy glue. The entire rear part is then carefully snapped into place on the rear hinges. A spare tire and a bit of luggage is added. Spinners are then placed onto the wheels and are then painted blue on the right side and red on the left side. Once that is done, the car is complete. I hope you enjoyed this build. It was really quite challenging. Even though there are some gaps between the body panels, I am quite happy with these results considering how old the kit is and how long it has been sitting around. Enjoy the showcase of the finished model. If you did enjoy this build, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to see more builds and hit that bell notification so you are notified when I upload the new videos. Feel free to help the creativity flow by buying me a coffee using the link below. Thank you so much and we will see you next time.